Are you concerned about the salt in your diet? One of our viewers is 60 years old, has great blood pressure, and uses lots of salt, and is concerned whether or not she needs to cut back. Well, according to the experts, the American Heart Association, Institute of Medicine, and more well-respected organizations, they have long held the belief that reducing sodium is important for lowering blood pressure. And it's blood pressure is a risk factor for heart disease and stroke, so it's an important public health recommendation. However, not everyone is salt sensitive. It's hard to know whether you are or you aren't. Most people who have high blood pressure are. But only about 10 to 20 percent of the American population is estimated to be. However, the recommendation is for everyone over the age of 50, African Americans, if you have diabetes, um, or kidney disease or any other chronic condition, you should be following a, the recommendation of 1,500 milligrams a day. Now, I know that doesn't mean much to you, but it's the equivalent of a little more than a half a teaspoon of salt. So almost half of the American population fits in that category and should be restricting their sodium for the purpose of, of prevention. But if you're not salt sensitive, you might be able to enjoy more sodium and not have that risk factor. It's something you need to talk to your doctor about because the recommendations are firm. And if you don't belong in that category of over 50 and African American and more, then the recommendation is 2,300 milligrams of sodium a day. And the average American gets about 3,400. So we're way above where we need to be. We need to scale back. It's in your best interest to try to cut back on the salt in your diet, even if you do have good blood pressure. So remember that this is not the culprit. What is where we get most of the sodium in our diets is from processed foods. So look in your pantries, in your freezers. So those frozen meals and soups and processed foods, look at the amount of sodium, restaurant meals. And wherever you can, try to eat closer to the ground. When you eat closer to the ground, you're eating fresh foods that are not processed or minimally processed foods. Those are your best recommendations. And hold back and, and put the salt on your food at the table, not in cooking. So you might use less. Hopefully you use less and you'll taste it more.